matcha. We need to get you a mug. <laughs> What's mine gonna say? It's for me to do. Oh, I'd have to make you one. Great. I'm gonna have a little <laughs> think about that. But yeah, you ready? <coughs> I don't know, wait. <coughs> Sorry. You ready? Yes. Introduce the show, please. Um, nothing that we've recorded so far is going to be in. Okay. <laughs> uh, you go for it. It's pressure with you. Wow, you're like overthinking that. it. Welcome yeah. back to the show, guys. Welcome to Chatterbox. I'm your guy, <laughs> Bailey. And I'm Kyra. Welcome back. Hope you've enjoyed your week. Sorry for the delay in getting this video out. I'm going to say from now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our new post date mm -hmm. is going to be Thursdays. 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 What's the reason for the change? It used to be Monday, yeah. but then Monday would mean I have to edit on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And then I moved it to Tuesday, but yeah. then that means I, I try to squeeze it in on Monday. Right. So now if I make it Thursday, that means I'll edit it Monday, Tuesday, relaxed, and it'll post on Thursday. Okay. I don't want to work on the weekends. Okay, fair. Fair. And Everyone you ain't, has you ain't, You're not pulling any weight of editing. I could. One I thing I have edit. noticed. I can edit. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a big void in Leo's absence that's not been filled. Your presence in the seat has been filled. Okay. But um, yeah. What's that post? Void? Post production. Post production. Yeah. So what did Leo do that I need to clips. Step up on? Clips. He handled a lot of the clips. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I can work on that. Add that to your uh, God. Spotify responsibility. I ain't got enough to do uh. in, my, in my real world. <laughs> Outside of podcast world, but I'm committed. I'll try my hardest. So Kyra's just come back from holiday. Yes. I've only seen her for a few hours. Yes. A few hours. Well. Well, yeah. I guess yeah. I was working yesterday. I didn't see you, did I? True, true, true. Did you miss me? Sleeping. I really did. I know. I really, told really me. missed you. Even at the gym, someone was like, he came in and he looked sad. He said that he missed you. I weren't sad. <laughs> I weren't sad. I enjoyed my, 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 my alone time. Yeah. But. I, w I will say, like, it's not the first time you've gone away, mm. but I'm very convinced that I'm so, I definitely don't want to be single ever again. <laughs> like, I don't want to live alone. If I was going to be single, I'd have to go back to mum's. Oh my God. Because it's too That's much. That's a bad thing to say, you know. It's too much. That's bad. It's too much. Why? It's too much. What about it? Break it down. Like, obviously I can, I can cope, but... <laughs> I feel like I feel like on my own I just survive. Yeah. I feel like my goal, day to day. My day to day survival. is survival. It's like there's no like since you've been home I've had two great dinners mm -hmm. or one mm -hmm. one good dinner. Yeah. One how many dinners you last one, night? Last yeah. night one good dinner. Yeah. And whilst you, the dinner was cooking like mm -hmm. the dishes was done and mm -hmm. you was wiping sides and that's not me saying domestic. That is so no basic, no no but wait, wait 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 but think about this yeah. Yeah. This is what I came home to from training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just, I walked in, the house smelt better. Mm -hmm. Like candles were on. <laughs> yeah, things was just happening. Yeah. And like, and I enjoyed it. Whereas when you wasn't here, I was coming home from training and on my way home, I was like, well, I've got no dinner and I don't even know what I'm going to make. But do you get that that's how I feel when no, I'm on my way home I don't know what day. I'm going to make. <laughs> I said, the ha the, I, I left the dishes and they're still going to be there waiting for me. Yeah. Like there's no fi and that's not to say you do dishes all the time or yeah. anything because I do, mm -hmm. but there's no, when there's no fifty fifty. Do you notice the the other stuff that I do as well? What like keeping like the toilet sex. rolls? Uh, <laughs> you're so rude. Uh, I missed your little. So you miss me because uh, no, 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 I no, no, cook don't, don't take, you don't, and we have don't, sex. Don't take those. I'm just being. Wow. I'm I'm you said break it down. Wow. You said break it down. Uh, Okay. I know, but like I also let me get to the next part. Let like, me get to the next I part. Then. Might be like, let know. me get to the next part. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. <laughs> also, <laughs> I was cheap. also remember I said to you bare times. Uh -huh. I was really bored. Mm -hmm. I was really bored. I played a lot of PlayStation. Yeah, a lot. But that normally started from like eleven and went on to about two a.m. But other hours, than that, hours a day. Other than that, like the days. Yeah, it was boring. Yeah. I was very bored. Yeah, I did miss your company. You missed me nagging you. Funny enough, yeah, I did sit there like, <laughs> did I say that? Did I message you like? Yeah. But I feel like it's weird knowing that no one's going to come and say, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I did miss you. Or but it was only a week. Doing. Yeah. I reckon if you went you away, if you went bad. away for a month, yeah. then you would get the real. Can I tell you how my days went without you? Yeah. Day one, mm -hmm. I went to Carly's for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I called you. Yeah, day two. 
Yeah. I went back to Carly's for dinner. Oh my God. Day three, I cooked. See what women have to put up with in their Day three, lives. I cooked corned beef and rice. <laughs> and that kept me going for the next three days. Wow. Corned beef and rice mm -hmm. for lunch and dinner. Like you said, survival. Lunch and dinner, corned beef and rice. Yeah. Until I got sick of it. Mm -hmm. The first two days, I was like, oh, my corned beef bangs. The yeah. third day, I was like, ugh. Don't even want it. I don't think I'll eat that again for a long time now. Uh, day six. Mums. I went to mums. Had dinner there. <laughs> and day seven, you come home. Because usually if I'm away, you'll go to my mums. But I was away I was annoyed because I said to you before you left, task your mum to make me. No, you're, my mum is not making you make, pack lunches because you are lunch. a don't grown say, Don't man. say pack lunches. Don't say pack it lunches. It is pack lunches. No, no, I was not asking it for pack lunch. Lunches. I'm not asking for pack lunch. I'm asking if she can, she normally makes like a big dish. Yeah, but she was coming and on holiday. And get, yeah, and then I put it to, in the fridge oh, and I ridiculous. helped myself to it. So it's just the food really. You survived though. I'm proud of well, you. No, this was talking about the survival. That's how I felt. That's when I say, like, I wasn't enjoying life. I was surviving. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I ran out of eggs on day three as well. Yeah. I was eating eggs. So Damn. A lot of eggs. Yeah. Scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. I've actually come up with a new way of making my scrambled eggs, you know? Mm -hmm. and it's actually made, Enlightened it's improved me. them. Because it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing it's thing. Evolution. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my, my scrambled eggs, if you, if you ask me how to make scrambled eggs three years ago mm -hmm. to last month to this week, mm -hmm. it's, it's changed. Go on. Well, now I just have constant movement. Yes, that's what I've been telling you, though, because yeah. you're like, how do you make it fluffy? I'm like, you've got to keep No, no, but I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't really achieving fluff. Yeah. I think you put, you put milk in yours. No. Oh, okay. I put a little bit, a splash of milk. I've gone back to putting a splash Ooh. of milk. I, never, I stopped doing that for Creamy. a while. Creamy. But now it's like more of a folding. I'm constantly folding, mm -hmm. folding. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting it settle. Yeah. But I used to like my eggs how I used to like them eggs. But now I was like, mm. 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 <laughs> do you know why? Because I, I saw a TikTok video. Do you know what? Um, I don't know what they call this type of egg. Yeah. But imagine you make egg. like It's like a big scrambled egg or omelette. Yeah. And at the end, they put it on something and then they cut the top and then it opens up. I've never seen that before. It's called, I think it's called folded eggs or something. Fold, yeah, I've seen folded eggs, but not... But like, like it's like it's cooked. Imagine an omelette that feels like it's cooked it on like, the outside. Does it like blow up? Like, no, it's dough. just like it's like it's it's like an omelet, right? But imagine you cut the top of the omelet, right? And it, it's like it's it's a double omelet, so the inside's kind of a bit not cooked, for uh, still. so it like opens up and it's wet inside. Maybe actually, maybe I've seen that. Yeah, so you you that's what you think you've perfected now. No, I saw that. Okay, and then I saw how I was making it, <laughs> and then I think I was doing it as I was making my eggs, and I kind of was like, oh, this is looking a bit okay, different. This is uh, this yeah. is a very you fucking <laughs> asked you asked about my eggs. It's an in-depth scrambled egg conversation. I actually think... <laughs> it's important though. No, Everyone but eggs, does them differently. I, I think eggs, yeah. in particular, mm -hmm. I've got, mm. over the years, mm. scrambled... You <laughs> six eggs tick. Tick. <laughs> like, however you want your eggs. Yeah. How do you want your <laughs> eggs in To the... be fair, I remember you making me, like, one of the first times, <laughs> you made me a... Um, you didn't eat it. A, well, no, the first time you made it to me, I didn't eat it because you squirted devil sauce all over it. Disgusting. Devil sauce for her is ketchup. Is, is it recorded? Disgusting. Um, how do I know it's recorded? It's R E C. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, Pardon you. It was the chair. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, um, you put ketchup all over it, which I just think is fucking mental. Like, who I makes something? That day. Yeah, but who makes something for someone? And does not give them the autonomy of what condiment they want on it. Because that is up until crazy. that moment. When I actually eat that, that's crazy. Like if someone came to my house and I mm. made them something, I wouldn't just take out mayonnaise and then just square it on top or take out sweet chili and just go. Yeah. You just put but up until that on moment it. of my life. Disgusting. Up until that moment of my life. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. has ever given me that reaction to having ketchup on eggs. In fact, I would have I, I probably, knowing me back then, I would have probably thought, I'm not going to take this up two flights of stairs. Mm -hmm. And then her asked me for the ketchup. Mm. That's long. But I remember, I, I remember making but you eggs. you just bring the bottle with it. I remember anything. making those eggs thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show her. I'm going <laughs> to cook her my best are. meal. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to make her the eggs. And it did not and work. And I bought it up and I gave it, it to you. Flopped. And you just looked at it and you went, sorry, I can't eat that. I was like, what? Because I'm not even being fussy. Like there's some things that like ketchup. I wouldn't love. But I'd eat. Like there's some like things that maybe you make me. I'd be like, mm, it's not my favorite, like but what? I'll eat it. 
Well, this is the thing. I'm actually not that fussy. Like I eat, I have a, I have a wide ranging palate. <laughs> but I feel like that ketchup, the things I cannot do, ketchup, marmite. Yeah, I'm with you there. Oysters. Do you look at ketchup the way I Lemongrass. Eat? You know I can't eat lemongrass. That's a Thai thing. I know. Oh, so, I know. Thailand. I know. That's going to be in everything. I know. So this is what I've already looked up. I can't remember it now, but I was like, I need to look up how to say is there lemongrass in this. Because... You just need to change your palate. No, no, You no, can no, adjust no, your palate, no, no, you know. No, no, no. I know you can, but I don't think I'm fussy at Take all. Take a week. I eat a lot of things, but those things for me are just so... Ugh, can't yeah, do it. We can do that, you know. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. Just like put a little lemongrass. bit of lemongrass and a couple of things. You'll be on. But I don't like it. I'm like if some if it's in something and I can't distinctly taste it. It's not. It's like number coriander flavor. Then it's not. No coriander. I can eat. Coriander ruins everything. Mm, not necessarily. It's okay. Like I wouldn't be like, like fairy liquid. No, I don't think so. That's what I mean. It's like different. Maybe it's different strengths. amounts for people and different strengths of people. But for me, lemongrass tastes like. Horrible. Um, so yeah, I need to work out how to say that in Thai when we go out there. Because it's not in every dish. It's a common Just ingredient. Just speak louder and slower. What? No, that's not how you say Is it. Is there any lemongrass in it? I can't do it. Did you see you, in the last episode don't worry about what? when you said ni hao and they were like, that's Chinese, which I thought it was. What does Chinese, what does that mean? I think it's hello or like, I think ni hao ma is like. Ka. Kopam ka. Kopam ka. Kopam ka. That's, Thank that's Thai. You. I don't know, but that's definitely Thai. I think that might be thank you, but Kopunka. I still think you're not saying it. Or is that Bali? <laughs> I don't know. Kopunka. Kopunka. I don't know, but we need to learn Kopunka. some basics. Kopunka. Just stop because you're offending so yeah, many people. Yeah, how can I be offended, somebody? Not offending. Who, do you think, like, who could that offend? You just sound like person. such an ignorant <laughs> English person. A Thai person you think would be offended by that? Or an English person would be offended for the Thai person? Pe- fair, fair point. Fair point. You know what I mean? Maybe, what did I would have to ask? I'm English twat. Yeah, but in the you, comments it's still a bit ignorant I suppose I feel like the Thai people will be impressed I'm trying fair yeah unlike the French when I go over to France yeah I know a little bit I got a B in French yeah not, I'm not saying I was French. great I'm not saying I'm great but I'm saying that I will attempt if in, in, in a restaurant no, I'm not going to do it I'm not performing I'm just saying that in a restaurant I'll attempt and they always go we speak English like, they don't even give me a chance. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'd rather that. Yeah, but the, what I mean is, like, I know that we are just ignorant English people. Do you get what I mean? Like, we, everyone looks at us across the world, and rightly so, because everywhere else, be, everywhere else is pretty much bilingual and multilingual, and we are so, like, like you said, oh, I'll just speak loud, blah, blah, blah. And slow it down. And slow it down. And turn it up. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, sometimes when you actually are trying, and then it's not even the fact that they're like, oh, don't worry. And simplify. I speak simplify as well. What do you mean? Slow it down. Yeah. Turn it up and simplify. Yeah. Like take out all of the. the I know, but that's fat. what I'm saying is that people say that that's all we do. Like take so out. Then I a, try. Want water? You want water? Yeah. Like you don't say, do you want a water? I know. You want water? I know. I get what you're saying. <laughs> you don't need to <laughs> translate to me how you're gonna translate English. <laughs> But what I'm saying is when I try and not do that, mm. which the only accent, the only language I could possibly even do a tiny attempt at doing so is French. And But they well, make they even ridicule you. They it. make you feel so... Let me hear what they're hearing to see if I can see what they're No. Hearing. Go on. No, because you're going Just to Just ask me for like, me. whatever you know. Like you, you mustn't have to ask for a coffee. I don't want to do it. Go on. You're, no, Are you because shy? my accent is bad. Can you were singing on the episode. It was, my today. accent is bad. Go on. Um... Bonjour. Go on. Je veux un café, s'il vous plaît. There's no accent. That's you. That sounds like you. Okay. Yeah. Are you trying? No, so I want to hear the accent. No, but this. What's the issue with me saying that? Nothing. Nothing. That was. So good. that's me asking. What but they would just go like that. instead of instead of just being like. Oui, oui, oh, well done for trying. Oui, oui, like yeah. this, or like we oui, we oui, messy and just doing it. They'll just be like. Oh, English. I speak English, and like you make you feel so small, and you're like, okay. We know you should do. You know, you know, no, you should do next time they do that. You should yeah. hit him with your the words no one knows. Oh, do you so, mean? oh, do you speak English? Do you? <laughs> well, I'll have an ominous coffee. Talking of which, we, need we a word of your week. I kind of thought that had phased. Word out of, of the week. Word of the week. Word of the week. Word of the week. You're not even testing da, me if da, I know da, the da, ones you've already da, given da, me. Da, da, da. Okay, let me one. Just give one ominous. in a sentence. Ominous. Yeah, but we started with that. Come on, stay learning. 
All right. Come up with another one. Think of another one we've, we've learned. Wait, get, stop talking then. This word. Shush. I'm going to give you a hint. Oc, 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 octopus. Oc, <laughs> I'm going to give you a hint. Wait, I got it's it. It's last week's one. Last week's one was vocation. No, close. It was a V. But now it should be fully within your... V. Vocabulary. Close. Vocation. Now, vocation. Vernacular. Vernacular. Okay. It's too many. Don't give me a new one. No, I've got a new one. But I'm trying to give you ones in. that you might you might use now. I'm going to give you ones that oh. you might use. So this word, you might already know this, is myriad. Do you know the word myriad? I feel like I've heard this word. Mm. Myriad. Mm. So yeah. it means like... Get, I'm trying to take fruit out of my mind and... Because to me, for some reason, it gives me Vikings. It's giving yeah. Vikings. The first thing I thought of was a tangerine. No. Or Marin. <laughs> What's Marinda? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you're so the way you just connect it yeah. to another word and think that's the same. Well, I've got that's nothing like to saying... go with. I'm empty. I've, I've, I couldn't. <laughs> okay, right. Do you want to know myriad? Can put it in a sentence first. Okay, I get put in a sentence. You can guess. So, um, during this during this podcast, we've covered a myriad of topics. A, a wide range. Yeah, like various, a, a countless number, mm. excessive myriad. Number. Yeah, so got to try and you got to try and use it. I could definitely sen- use it in a sentence. That's what now. I'm saying. You say you can't remember. It. Even sometimes I forget where I'm like I hear a word and I'm like, oh, I like that word. And you I know, I'm dyslexic. It. Right? But if you try to use it, you're more likely to remember it. That's but my you point. You know, I'm dyslexic. Right? I know, and that's why I'm trying to help you. Okay. <laughs> myriad. So if you try and use You've it, you've given me a myriad once. of words. Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah, yeah, correct. There you go. <laughs> How was your holiday though? Because um, this was your first ever holiday with your family. Yes, it was the first holiday with my mum, my brother and my sister, all four of us together. Like I've gone away with my mum separately. We went to Amsterdam with Dre a couple of years ago, do you remember? Um, never been away with my little sister, so all of us together. And we went to Egypt. It was hot. One of the days it was like 42 degrees or something. That's beautiful though. 42 though. Like, I don't even think it was that hot when we went to Bali. That is ultimate. I don't think it was that hot when we were in Bali. No, it weren't. Yeah, I don't think it was. No, Egypt's a joke. It was hot. And then the guy was laughing at me because I was like, no, like, I like the heat, but this is hot. He was like this. He was like, come back in summer. It's 50 degrees. I was like, what? I did not know that it was hot like that out there. Um, And we went to the desert and that sort of stuff which was kind of crazy. What did you do in the desert? Like oh, quad biking? Well, this is the thing. So I was not on doing that. Did I you was... go to the pyramids? No. Why? So I didn't know this. My, me, again, ignorant English person. I thought that there's just pyramids everywhere. No. In Egypt. <laughs> they're in, turns out they're in one place. Yeah. But from where we were, we were in Haggadah. It was like a six, seven hour journey there. Hold on. Six, seven hour journey Miseducated back. Miseducated Cairo. I know. Thought that. Fuming. The pyramids were just like lampposts. Yeah. I thought they were like red tele- telephone boxes. And you London. thought you were just going to look over out of your hotel and look oh, at them. Oh, there's pyramids. Nah. Oh, there's That's a day one. trip. It's I a know. day excursion. Exactly. But because it was so long and it was expensive um, do to do the shit day as well? trip. Well, I've heard very mixed reviews. Did you Carly see? Carly was like, it was amazing. Your mum was like, it was shit. My mum will tell you what it is. Yeah, but everyone's giving me mixed reviews. So I'm I kind see, of did like. Did you see on Carl Pil- when Carl Pilkerton went on like, the, um, in India abroad? No. I think like that's the realest you're gonna see of it. No, not seen it. It's just like a dump. No, it's a lot of litter. Though. No, but I think maybe that is the case. But I think what the most is meant to be the most amazing thing about it is like the blocks are bigger than this room. Do you get what I mean? Are they? So yeah, so it's like the, when you see the pyramids, and that's why they say, "How massive. did they make them?" Yeah, exactly. Because they didn't the world have the technology. Restarted, man. They, okay. did have, they had the technology. Here we go into the conspiracy bags. They had the technology. <laughs> we had an apocalypse. We can restarted. we have one of these? But it's it says like for bullshit. conspiracy. Yeah, you can push this for when I'm bullshit. That's your no, bullshit. I want a conspiracy. Can we get a sound deck? Can we get a sound Babe, deck that we push? I want you to start contributing to so get the sound I'm coming deck. with the ideas. No. I'm, I'm coming I'm with not, the ideas. I'm not open push, for ideas. Push, push. I want I'm just, action. I'm just an ideas man. I need action. You need an action. I need man. an action oh. man. Pause. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want of a. Pause. I want a sound deck, and I, so that I could be like conspiracy. You could do it. And every time you mention something on the line. Well, you could just like. This ruins the magic of oh, production. But we edit it. In. But you could just press it. And then you edit it. And then in. edit. I'll, I'll put conspiracy. Conspiracy. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. No, what was I gonna say? 
I did want. Oh, I did want to talk about. Mm. Like we 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 you paused or I paused myself. Yeah. And then that made me think of Diddy. <gasps> The Diddler. The Diddler. That's my favourite name, you know, the Diddler. That's who's called him that? It's just like he's known as that now. Is it? The Diddler. No way. Yeah. I didn't I heard that one. Yeah. The Diddler. Diddler. The Diddler sounds like a proper bad name. Evil villain. Diddler. Look, my timeline is not stopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every every three scrolls it's Diddy. Diddy 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 Diddy. Or an allegation or something. It's Mine's not like that, but that's because you, yeah, and yours is more educational, I guess. No, it's not. No, but I'm saying like you <laughs> know when not. you know every time you like start telling me about something political, and I'm yeah. like, I don't know what you're talking about, and you're like, how are you, are you not are you telling me that? that you've seen Diddy a myriad of times? Listen, <laughs> the, my time. Remember, you look every time you tell me about politics. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking um, about. Yeah, okay. you're like, how? Yeah, it's all, and I'm like, I don't see. I, no, it. no, don't get me wrong. I see. Mine a is Diddy. I do see a lot of Diddy. I now do mine see is jujitsu. Yours is bums and Diddy and Diddy. I'm sorry, but that sounds so. Oh, because because <laughs> of the two words I ever said, the two all three of them, to yeah. be honest. Well, jujitsu is a, yeah, it's a bit sus as well. But um, <laughs> I watched. I stayed up last night and watched like an hour of his indictment Diddy papers and bumps. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be clipped. <laughs> I watched his indictment readout. Yeah, yeah. and he's gone. He's ne- mm. he's definitely not beating this, but like. All of the things are coming out. Like, like, do you know what? Yeah, you know that video that come out of Cassie when she was running down the hallway and he chases her, mm-hmm. right? Bear in mind that come out in two thousand and twenty four or mm-hmm. two thousand and fourteen, two thousand and twenty three or two thousand twenty four. Come mm-hmm. out like this year, mm-hmm. but like in two thousand and eighteen, there was this guy named um, what was his name? He's got a weird name. Odd, Oddy. He's got that's it. Oddie in the Diddler. His name's got an Oddie, Oddie or something like that. Yeah, Body Oddie. And he was arrested at like yeah. some sort of Trump, something, shooting a gun. Like mm-hmm. he's been arrested and convicted for attempted. How have we gone into the next conspiracy? How are you telling me this is the overlap of conspiracy? And I will say this: Yeah, I could, I'm I'm struggling to get this out because I know how you feel. Like anytime I talk about anything that sounds slightly conspiracy <laughs> I'm not you treat me like I would have treat my dad no no yeah no, you do no, you do no, you do no, you do no. you do you do you do you do own no, it because own it only because no own people it. are gonna say that I don't give you a chance but you it's don't, like you don't you don't you're not in it, but it I'm saying, if I try to show you anything I'm talking, yeah if I try to show you anything you to say if I try to show you anything yeah this I'm not I'm not I am a conspiracist now yeah but I don't lose my head. That's the difference. I don't lose my head. I just want to know how we got to Trump. But what sorry. you would do, yeah, what you do is you're so you're so not a conspiracy. So you won't even look. No, I don't. Don't tell me that I'm blind to things. I'm not blind. No, there you is are. some fuck not blind. Up shit going on. Listen, best believe mm-hmm. he has been setting up rings of like perverted. Oh yeah, that's it. You that's know, absolutely about. nefarious things have, are going on, have been going on, and there's a lot that we don't know. And I always say, yeah. From the from the moment that I think it's the US government, oh my god, I'm gonna forget the name of it now. They have a department in the US government which is called something like damage limitations department, yeah. Hmm. And it's not like it's oh, well, this could be me in my conspiracy bag, yeah. Maybe fact check this shit. But their whole role is like if something bad is about to happen, they need to damage they need to like limit the damage so they will be like what can we get rid of what can we push out to the public to distract the eyes best believe i know that stuff's going on however i just am i feel like able to like we spoke about before look at source material and be like there's probably an element of truth to that but the way in which they're saying things and selling things and connecting Mm. things together sounds like you really really are clickbaiting me because we live in a world where people can say anything Mm. and so many things get proved to be untrue Mm. or like i don't know like clout clout chasing I However, can see, I can see all of the stuff. Like, please the tell me about that, this Trump rally and how it. No, no, it's not. How it relates it's not, to Diddy. It's not to do with the Trump rally. He, this is this is just how we get. He he's be, being interviewed. Yeah, he's been arrested for a gun at a Trump thing, whatever. Yeah. Um, attempted murder of a police officer. Obviously, when they tried to arrest him, he's aiming at them. So he he's fucked, and he's being interviewed by, I believe it's the CIA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that would be who's taken over this. He's not being interviewed by the FBI or mm-hmm. like the police. He's being interviewed by the CIA because it's to do with Trump and blah, blah, blah. So their only interest is 
this gun thing, what yeah. he was doing at the rally, what your intention was. That's all they care about. Mm -hmm. He's in the interview talking about everything. Mm -hmm. He's talking about what P Diddy's done. This is in 2018, before before this Cassidy thing come out, Cassidy mm -hmm. thing come out. So that's not even surfaced yet. It's not something he's jumping on for clickbait. He's talking about this separately. Mm -hmm. And he was saying like, everything about what Diddy does, he was a se he's a sex slave for Diddy. He's, he fucks Cassie and Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, he's telling about all the things that Diddy makes him have to do or they have mm -hmm. to do. Cause he's trying to like give them info. He's trying to give them info on what Diddy's involved in mm -hmm. outside of everything. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we don't, let's get back to the shooting mm. and he keeps talking so it's like it's interesting because if somebody else was interviewing him they might have dug deeper into what he's saying but mm. because they're not they don't care about diddy mm. they want to know about what the is shooting. diddy fbi and that's cia or something like that well the cia is their their main concern at this point is you was at trump really trying to shoot the president mm. so you, you telling us about what diddy does so how's this come out now so his indictment papers for diddy have come out mm -hmm. And there's a lot of information in there, a lot mm -hmm. of things that, because the people, the, I, I can't remember what it's called um, for who's the prosecution behind this, because it's government, right? Mm -hmm. But whichever level of the government that's taken on this case, they will not go to trial unless they've got you pinned. Mm -hmm. They won't like take you to trial and then try and <laughs> gather evidence. And like, before you even know they're coming for you, they've got everything mm -hmm. solid. So their indictment papers are pretty... Like he's pretty fucked. And he, yeah. got, he was denied bail twice from two separate judges after looking at them. Yeah. yeah. So it's the things that are in the papers that they're talking about. His, now, his, apparently one of his bail was conditions. Was it six years later? One of his bail conditions was like all the money, whatever, n like not leaving, whatever. Yeah. And to not speak to a single woman. Yeah, he can't because he's too powerful. Not to speak to one woman. Yeah, they didn't trust him. They don't trust. He, they're saying he's too powerful. He's a flight risk, and he's too powerful. He can. He's already <laughs> intimidating witnesses because yeah. they don't. The witnesses haven't been shown who's a mm. witness, who's cooperating. Mm. But there's so many people that are involved. So, what's your like fascination with all of this? Because this to me is my not fascination. Shocking. No, no, my f no. So that the, the only fascination with that part was the guy. So six mm. years ago, so whatever's in the indictment papers now and all mm. of these things, he was confirming a lot of them uncoerced. Like he was. Mm talking about it, but no yeah, one but cared no one was no know. one was checking into diddy they then. all know yeah like, yeah all of these upper echelons like they, the upper echelon upper echelon like high class members of society yeah like they all fucking they're know all in it going on like this is what's this is what's me. fascinating about it yeah? yeah is that i think like epstein's case mm -hmm. and r kelly mm -hmm. all these i think they're going to be so overshadowed and it goes by from, this it goes from um small things to large things like hello there's somebody out there it's probably um, my mum oh hello <laughs> so we know that people turn a blind eye to lots of things whether it be from all the way to the extremes of like child you know pornography and rape oh, and that justin, sort of stuff justin bieber well, anyway, but like they go from that end all the way down to like them turning a blind eye to like a man hitting their wife and them just being like, oh, it's behind closed doors, which I'm not saying is less extreme. But you get what I mean? Like it goes across the whole thing. There's so much of that like going already, on. He's, he's, he's got more than people turning blind eyes. He's got people like he's the, got people they, on in payroll. the indictment. They got people they people the people that are involved. Are like you got people that are. Organizing the sex trafficking, mm. organizing the the um, re refueling. It's and an like, operation. Um, and um, a thousand bottles of baby like oil. making sure that they're there, <laughs> um, getting cleaners in to mm -hmm. limit damages for the hotels. Some of them are mm -hmm. like sixty grand for like mm -hmm. things. So they they have all this in place now. So like then the flights for the victims and the people coming mm -hmm. over, like arranging all of these things. All these things are arranged before Diddy even gets there. So they need to be careful there. that he doesn't get off in prison because that's what happened to Epstein. I think, really yeah, think, well, the thing is, did he... Do you really think that Epstein actually killed himself? Now, if we want to talk conspiracies. No, I don't know. Because... I didn't even know he killed himself. Yeah, so he hung himself in his cell. Mm. But when you see it, like, the bunk bed he hung in from himself from was not as tall as him. And not only that, but, like, he was about to drop the black book. Well, this is what Diddy's going to do. He'd already ruined Prince Andrew. Yeah, not ruined, because yeah. he fucking did it himself, because he's a nonce. But he, you know, he was about to take down a lot of people. And it's just, like, Ghislaine Maxwell, she's the one that's now taken all of the brunt of all of that, really. And that was, like you said, I don't think anything in comparison to what's happening to P. Diddy. But if you look at who P. Diddy has been associated with, over it's everyone years as well he's been in this business for a long time and i feel like with a lot of the victims i feel like a lot of the, the um 
like did he uh, the thing is like he filmed apparently he filmed a lot mm-hmm. of what they was doing yeah mm-hmm. so a lot of people was like pressured mm-hmm. especially people wanted to be artists and mm-hmm. underneath him was pressured into doing things mm. but then it's also filmed mm. and then he was apparently using this from 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 then till now mm-hmm. as o- always having blackmail yeah, for these course, people yeah. so like now that he's been arrested and all, it, apparently the the prosecution have a lot of this videos mm-hmm. of the victims mm-hmm. so it's like we're waiting this is why I'm like waiting to see who are these victims because we can guess a lot of them mm. like but fabulous then, I feel like what uh, might be a, a case here is like trying to work out who's victim and who's the um, villain because Justin Bieber. some of yeah but what's what I'm saying some Definitely of them might be victims mm. but then also have gone, gone on to be predatory in a video circuit I don't think he is but they're trying to make out like um Justin Bieber sucking Odell Beckham's dick in the oh club. Oh God! See, this is what I mean. I don't. I don't know. Like, if all of this stuff. Will be I don't out think. There he, I think it just looks bad. I don't think he actually is. But that's the video that's circling out. Ridiculous! I don't want to believe anything until I. I think it's for the stories of the. If there are people out there who are victims, mm. like I say, I worry that maybe. I feel bad for a lot of them. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I will wait until those people come. I won't. Words. I'm just speaking with my chest. <laughs> no, but when we started this podcast, yeah, yeah. with Leo, I think one of our earliest conversations was mm. about Meek Mills mm-hmm. and P. Diddy because of that audio tape that got released. I've, I don't don't know. Yeah. And I said this to you the other day, innit? Mm. Or yesterday. I was like, now I saw something about Meek Mills suing him for... <laughs> Defamation. Porn revenge. I was like, oh, what's it? When revenge you... porn. Revenge porn. Mm. So then, <laughs> so then, like, isn't that kind of saying, yeah, that was me in the tape? Because you, I'm suing you for releasing no, it. No, because I guess revenge porn doesn't that come underneath? You know, like, um, if someone AI's AI pawns you, what? You know where they put your face on a something else and makes it look like it's you? No, oh, this is audio. Well, maybe it's AI. Or this audio. is cheeks. Audio. but yeah man like what like i say like obviously i'm not gonna speak my chest yet but i am quite it, it's all that's coming up on my time and and it's probably more gonna come now because i've gone in started watching and looking really for more. i've not i have i've seen i've seen stuff well i'm but... waiting to hear about jay-z and beyonce i think did like you said diddy's done yeah mm. diddy's 100 percent done but that's Getting what i'm saying at, I, at about they need years. to worry that he's not and gonna get done over because if he's got beyonce yeah he's got i think he's Jay-Z, got everyone in the pockets and he's got big media people up there and in the pockets he's got a lot of people if we're even if yeah 10 mm. percent or five percent of the people that went to those white parties over the last 20 years free cuffs either yeah either know about it or have been participating in whatever things he's been going on in there even if five percent of that are that's a dangerous five percent and they will i don't think they'll let him live to tell the tale that's what they need. They need to be keeping him in top security. He said, they're saying he had people in these free coughs. Mm. Like free coughs. On dr- like drugs. Free coughs. <laughs> alcohol, drugs, like intox. I think a lot yeah. of them were like maybe even drugged. Mm. Yeah. And like that thing, Cassie trying to escape. That was her trying to escape a mm. sex thing, you know. Mm. Wow. And he's chasing her in his towel. She's trying oh. to escape the room. God. Oh, it's sickening. And he, uh, he catches her and takes her back. Sickening. Like this is the kind, this is what he's on. But do you think, and this, all these I think this poses the question of, do you think that power breeds this sort of like... I just think some people, I think power given to the wrong people. Mm. Like I know people, mm. not like Diddy, but I know mm. people that you think if this guy had power, mm. he would be a problem because he's kind of like that and he has no power. Well, those are the people that we were speaking about the other day that you need to be like... Yeah checking on if they're your friends it's true but um Not yeah i think, on, I, think like, I don't think the power makes you like that i think it's like money money brings out the real you mm. My, I, I believe that to be true money will show the true version of yourself i know but i feel like it depends. you give a nice person money mm. he might just be nice and still be nice if you give a horrible person money you'll see the real person mm. no i know what you mean but I just, I just feel like there seems to be a lot of people that get to. I, it's almost like, for example, if you think about being, um, you know, someone like P Diddy, in especially in like the hip hop industry and whatever, they, you know, have apparently come from nothing, whatever. They've come up. There's only so many groupies and girls like that they've gone through, mm. and it's like almost like the thrill is gone and I'm not saying that then they makes them I'm not saying that you know they're blameless for doing these like 
awful things that they've done. But it's almost like, you know, even even their cars, they get given cars. They're, they're, do you know what I mean? Like some of them don't even buy cars. It's like a, it's a benefit for like Ferrari to give them a Ferrari. Do you get what I mean? Mm. There's only so many holidays you can go on. There's only so many amazing houses you can buy. There's only so many things. And it's like, do they become desensitized mm. to like this amazing lifestyle? So they do these like fucked up crazy things because of that. Well, the thing is, yeah, like, yeah, hundred percent. That, that, um, the, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's someone who, who's like an, an older to P. Diddy, maybe like mm. an uncle or something. Mm. Like he's more friends with mm. a mum and dad. Mm. He's the mum and dad's friends. Okay. But he knows P. Diddy. Well, everyone from. comes out the woodwork though, doesn't No, they? but this, he, they, he's a, in, uh, somebody interviewed him like in a cafe or something. Mm -hmm. Not interview, but they come up to him with a camera while, mm -hmm. hours before Diddy was arrested. And he says like a little statement and like what he says in it is like, he's trying to be encrypt cryptic. Cryptic, yeah. But he's basically saying like, Whatever you hear or find out, mm. understand that this has been going on way before Diddy. Mm -hmm. that's, well, what he, oh. that's what he's trying to say 100%. in his thing. Like Diddy's doing this, mm -hmm. but he's basically trying to say this goes way that's what beyond I mean. Diddy. I think it's like there's something about Diddy's humans. just the face of this. I feel like there's something about humans that are intrinsically dark because like we've had, you could look back hundreds of years ago, do you know what I mean? Thousands of years ago, you could look back to the Greeks, like whatever it might mm. be, like, you know, death and like awful people have always existed. It's just mm. you know, like, what form do they take as we like grow in humanity? And we've become more, I guess, like we said the other day, like we know stuff more now than ever. Oh, sorry. The reason that Oddy guy, mm. sorry to make, connect the dot, mm. he was spilling off a bunch of conspiracy stuff, mm -hmm. which was, he was trying to give them in order to help him with his plea. Mm. So he was saying things like the hip hop industry has been made to distribute drugs. So all, all of these private jets going to and from countries don't get searched and they keep transporting liquid cocaine. That's what he was talking about. He said, I've been there. I've tried the cocaine. I'm Diddy's sex slave. I listened to him on the phone. He's trying to give all of this information about Diddy of being like one of the Masons sort of power of the China, black, mm. of the black Masons tri or uh, segment trying to take over the world or whatever. So he's talking about this. So he is talking conspiracy, but in mm. talking about this, He's talking about these sex things and like mm. people being forced to do things. Mm. And they're like, yeah, okay, we don't care about all this. Back to the shooting. <clears throat> okay. So that was six years ago. So now this is big now. Doesn't mm. that interview, which we over was overlooked then, you just, oh, shut up, you're talking about Diddy. Now mm. it's like, you're kind of confirming a lot of this indictment stuff. Yeah, but I've never denied it. You know, this indictment stuff, I'm sure it is true. Yeah. I can't think of any other But the whole time we've been talking about- You need about a thousand bottles of baby oil. A thousand <laughs> bottles of baby oil to go <laughs> Like, from. what the yeah. fuck? Like, Why do you need that many bottles of baby oil? That's what I'm saying. That I must think, be one think wet about, room. <laughs> oh, think about how how long one bottle of baby oil will last you. Like, how many times do you buy Wait, baby but this oil? is for an entire party. So he's like, he's the hundred thousand bottles of baby oil was like, where did they catch this? At his house or at like a sex party? What I want to know is with baby oil, it's mm. not easy to clean up, you know. That's probably what the 60 grand is for <laughs> the, in damages. Fucking hell. It's a slippery party. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see what happens and a lot's going to come out from it, I presume. Or maybe it won't. But, you know, closer to home, fucking Hugh Edwards. Who's that? Hugh Edwards, the um, massively famous BBC news reporter. I don't know if you saw it recently. It all, it all came tumbling out about a year ago now. It's all come, he's had his trial. Um, the first thing he did, I think what he got caught, what brought attention to this is that he was paying, okay, fair enough, legal, but a 17 year old boy um, who was addicted to drugs, paying him money for illicit pictures, right? And what of black. himself? Of the boy, yeah. yeah. And he was blackmailing him for however long, like a year, two years, whatever. With the pictures? Just with everything, just blackmailing him. Like, you know, he's a vulnerable young person. Um, but then upon investigation, they found thousands of um, child... Uh, you shouldn't even say child pornography because it's not that. It's child, you know, assault and rape pictures. And of which some of this guy, some of which are category category A, which is the worst. What's category A mean? C 
category A. I feel like we're talking a lot about this on this podcast and I feel like we should do a trigger warning, you know, before people oh, yeah. watch it. Because What's this guy's name? Hugh Edwards. I need to see his face. So I just you will definitely go. recognize him as soon as you see him. Hugh H-U-W. H-U-W? I think it is, yeah. Edwards or H H U G H. What? Anyway, listen. So, worst category, child, um, child pictures. Bear in mind that he is on like a salary, a big time taxpayers BBC salary. Yeah. I've never seen this man before. You know. He's presented like BBC yeah, News. Yeah, I know. For I'm looking. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing who he is, and I'm like, I, I if I saw him, I would not know who. Well, he okay, yeah, regardless of whether you know who he is or not, he's on BBC, and that means that our taxes pay his wages, and he's on. We just need to hundreds scrap of thousands. The no, BBC. Hear me, hear me, hear me out. What's happened to him? So you'd think he's been found with category A, which you know, trigger warning, whatever, is the worst category. Yeah, so it means that it's actually penetrative sex of children underneath the age of five. Babies. Who's having sex with them? It's, it's whoever is in that picture, but he is pertaining the images. Oh, and they're sending them to him. He, yeah, and he has those images. He got a six months suspended sentence. This is what I'm saying. Like this is what I'm talking and about. The justice system. Yeah, he's able to retire on a full BBC pension. Yeah, to see that. That That's is what I'm talking about. The yeah. fuck. That's when the, when you want to talk about conspiracy. Yeah, <laughs> that prison is meant for a specific demographic. Demographic. Yeah. Because let them catch you with a small amount of class A in your mm -hmm, pocket, mm -hmm. you're going to get six years mm -hmm, minimum. Mm -hmm. Like just done. Yeah. But he's getting six months for that. Suspended. He doesn't go, he's not serving any jail time. I hope, I hope he trips and knocks his head And the, the judge. And I don't, want him, to, I don't want him to hit his head. I don't want to hit his head and die. I want him to hit his head and be <laughs> a potato. <laughs> a potato. <laughs> but fully conscious of what's going on. Okay. And I want the hospital to leave the media in front of him so we can all <laughs> see us talking about him. Well, the the judge actually, the comment, and knowing your life, if this was any other person, but somehow this guy has pleaded, you know, mental health and everything like this. And I'm not saying that that doesn't exist. And I'm sure you are going through mental health issues and a lot of anxiety now that your game is fucking up because you, you've just been How caught. How in 2024 they, the judge said, judge said, I was impressed with Hugh's um, show of remorse. Fuck that. The judge is probably a nonce as well. That's what I'm saying. And you know, when you hear that, you're like, and you know what's going to happen? Is this is not going to get addressed? Yeah, okay, some people are talking about it, like how we are sitting here. But everything's just going to carry on. And that's the power of the BBC, the power of these sort of institutions. Because what are we going to do? I don't think in And this is why I you shouldn't think, pay a TV licence. I don't just think it out mental there. health should <laughs> come into play anymore, you know, in... in, in um, no, you sentencing. can't say that. No, I don't. You can't say that. I don't think it should come into play. Because everyone, even mm. your normal person, has mental health. Mm. Yeah, so picking and choosing when mental health was the reason for doing something mm -hmm. is like, was it though? No, but they're not. Was your not mental health guiding you that. to look at child pornography? They're not saying that his mental health affected that. He just said he was impressed with his remorse. No, but he also claimed but mental health. They claimed mental health afterwards, yeah, and like everyone should be nice to him and not be horrible because Fuck he's having that. mental health issues. It's like, mm, he wasn't thinking about that yeah. when he was getting these, these things and using our taxpayers' money to get it. No, I keep going on about that fact, but that does piss me off. Same with fucking Prince Andrew. Our money, although to be fair, uh, King Charles has, he now has taken off Prince Andrew's um Royal duties. He's told him he has to leave the royal lodge, although Prince Andrew Who? is refusing. <clears throat> What's going on there? Prince Andrew. What's he done? Reese, you cannot be serious. I told you my timeline: jujitsu bums and P Diddy. Prince Andrew that's, has that's not shown bag. up once. That's the bag. Prince Andrew this has, has been not going shown up on for years. Like I mean, who's Prince like, Andrew? Prince the Andrew. old one. No, the young one. The old one. You don't even know what you're talking about. I don't. Prince Andrew. Prin king Charles is king the king. King Charles. Yeah. Both of them were the Queen's Prince sons. Andrew is his brother. You had Prince Charles and you had Prince Andrew. Then the Queen died and it became King Charles. Yeah. And Prince Andrew is the second. He's the paedophile. Yeah, he's been a paedophile. He that's, was on Epstein's Island. That's not questioned. That's confirmed. Well. <laughs> okay. He settled with Victoria Dufresne or whatever the girl's name is, who was his like, who came out against him a couple of years ago. He settled out of court with her. Oh. 
and he was a Listen, frequent any regular at Epstein's Island. Any single, or even not even single, any celebrity from the 80s going to these parties had power. They're all done <clears> nonsense, man, because they weren't thinking about social media coming out and this ever coming up. Mm. They probably He's thought the one, anything that happened 20, say, 30 years if you, ago is If you done guys know what I'm talking about, I'm yeah. scared of what I've done. Don't say that. No, I'm really. honestly. Why are you saying such I'm scared of what I'm. Like right, that. so this is what I mean, yeah? I'm no, scared but now of what you're I'm just done. saying stupid things. I'm not. I'm saying honest things. Now you're making it. You're making me feel like I'm with a paedophile. That's true. Why would you say that? Why don't you question me about? with what I'm talking about rather than assuming I mean I'm a paedophile? Because the so insinuation let me explain. is implicit. In let me land then. Woman and okay, but just don't say like crazy things like that. All right, like so that. here, what here it makes it me uncomfortable. Imagine. Yeah. It's the 80s. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
what I just said, yeah. Mm. Think about how many people this might apply to. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people went mm. to these parties. Yeah. But yeah. A lot of people were just horny. Just associated. Swingers. Yeah, okay. Just having sex. Mm-hmm. Didn't do anything illegal. But oh, so you're talking about the sex parties. You're not talking about his white parties. Even, even just those the, are social. Okay, events, but his, but his sure white party. No, exactly. There's a video of him at his white party standing mm-hmm. on the balcony. Mm-hmm. He said, "We got about an hour left. Mm-hmm. Then all you kids need to go home because mm-hmm. this party is going to turn into something that you're going to wish you was at, but mm-hmm. you can come back to it in your future." Mm-hmm. And they're all going, Woo-hoo, and he's talking about it's about to turn into a freak off. So you might have been at the white party. You're mm-hmm. not even knowing. You're saying, "Oh, I might just hang about. What's what's going on? <clears throat> what, what are you bringing all these but bottles of lube in for?" We can't start a witch hunt on people that we just. But imagine people who Do you get what I mean? Imagine people who just like Leonardo DiCaprio, right? They've they've put out a video they put out a thing Mm -hmm. of about ten parties he's at with Diddy. Mm -hmm. Like best buddies there. So it's like, is Leonardo worried? Well that's what I said for two about Jay Z. Jay Z said there's only two people that could call me by my my birth name. And one of them is my brother P. Diddy. Because he's got videos of you Mm -hmm. doing nasty. Yeah. That's Becca. I'm big on conspiracies, man. I feel like it is definitely an old person thing. What, I can see why old people start. Because, yeah, you start hearing about things that you grew up in. I don't think so you're more interested. old people. I think conspiracies go across generations. Well, conspiracies are everything. Like, conspiracies can go deep. But that's what the thing about conspiracy is that you start to think. Because with conspiracies, yeah, you might have 10 things, yeah, which are different ideas and different... Uh, conspiracies mm. yeah and eight of them could be rubbish but two of them could be true but, but because the two ones. that are true Mixed. are so fucking mental and they're actually crazy like even like mk ultra like even like so many different so many different things you could be because they're so absolutely fucking mental you're then like well the other eight they might be crazy but they could be true. If that's true, that could be true. So mm. that's what makes conspiracies like this that's, consistent cycle. That's like, cycle. So like your damage control people. Mm. They drop things just to keep drop you. Drop stuff in the media yeah. just to distract you. I mean, fuck knows what's going to come. I couldn't, I even like... Fuck knows. Fuck knows what's going to come out. my little English <laughs> London girl that you see from East I London. Don't, I don't know. Like, fuck knows. Fuck knows what's going to come out because everything over your lifetime, things that we think to be true. I remember like... I'm pretty sure I've said this before on this podcast, but when I, I heard that um, Tony Blair stood up on our TV screens, remember when we were still at school and was like, we are going to have to go to war because we have found evidence of um, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Mm. Sent us all to war, told us that. Turns out they never actually had that. Never actually had fully on evidence. And we went, we, within the last 20 years, went out and killed people abroad. Because mm. like, they knew they couldn't declare a war and declare us using all of our money, our money to go to war and bombs and PPR, our young people dying and all of this. They knew they couldn't do that unless they gave us a justifiable thing. But turned out later and they were like, oh yeah, we lied. Oops, sorry. And Tony Blair's not been arrested for war crimes. Here's Mental. a conspiracy for you. Okay. Do you remember mm-hmm. when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock? Yes. On a scale of Take one to ten, my wife's name yeah. out your fucking mouth. On a scale of one to ten, yeah. How much do you think that was fake? Um, I don't know. It was so fucking random. I Go don't on. know. On a scale of one to ten, how fake do you think that might be? A seven, six. So you're quite high on thinking it's fake. You're not convinced it was real. I don't know. Right now, I'm going to show you something. Yeah, and. We're gonna watch the whole thing. Oh, it's gonna be on screen for them to watch too. <laughs> but when you watch this, are we? Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, if yeah. Conspiracies. <laughs> right. I'm happy for it because I saw this and I was like, no fucking way is this what I'm watching right now. Look how excited you are to show it. Your hands are shaking. I feel like I. Do you know what's scary? I feel like my dad. <laughs> I feel wait, like, wait, wait. Just to put things in perspective for you, yeah. R.I.P. Dad. But before he passed, for the last year, two years, he, it was more than he was, he become a conspiracist. He'd become a bit insane, I think. Not insane. It overtook his life. And everything was a conspiracy. Everything to the mm. orange juice in the fridge was a conspiracy. Everything. Mm. And it got jarring and 
no one really wanted to listen to his conspiracies. Yeah. But that, the thing is, what's sad about it is that's what happens with conspiracies. That's how I feel talking to you. Yeah, but I'm not Whenever I start talking you. about something, you're like... I am... No, no, you no. You start no. going, oh, here he goes back, with his conspiracy. When you watch this Not back, today, not today, not today. Not back, today, at the house. I have engaged. I feel... No, do you know what I like? And like I Because said, we're on this podcast, you've entertained me. No, no, no. No, no you've no, entertained no, me. No, no, don't, because at don't home, if I try to show you something, <laughs> you ain't got no time for it. Like I said, I am critical of the source. Stop grabbing the mic. This is just... Me being serious. Like I said, I am <laughs> critical of the source. Right. However, I do feel like I am not someone that is completely like, oh, I believe the media. No, I, I don't want you to. I'm when told. I tell you something, I don't want you to be like, oh, that's that's facts. I'm going to change my way left. I want you to just be like, hmm. I am, though. I am still curious. No, I'd love a hmm out of like, you. I, I, I would am. love a hmm. I, <laughs> if I could get a hmm back, out of you at home, yeah. When you watch not this Not today, back. not now. I'm saying you've been great today. <laughs> you've been so engaged. You're like giving me time to speak through the conspiracy before you shut it down with some bullshit. Yeah. So I'm happy. <laughs> And I'm going to save all my conspiracies for the show because I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make but this your thing. Here's one for you. Here's Don't make one this for your you. brand. Watch this. Oh, I've seen this. I've you seen, seen this? It? I think so. Oh, Man, everyone really does look great tonight. Jeremy, now, if I saw you on the red loses, carpet. Looks like you lost those last few win. pounds. <laughs> Angela, looks like you picked up that bit of weight Jeremy dropped. Lord. Could have been a carrot in that dress, but I guess you brought pumpkins back in season tonight. Good thing there's no fairy godmother around you be carting Cinderella (laughs) off to the ball. That was a that was a nice one. Okay. Oh, what's this? How about here? Elijah Whoa. taking Richard. the stage. <laughs> oh. oh wow! 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 Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Elijah Lewis Lip. just slapped the heck out of me. No. Don't you ever wow, talk about my dude. wife that way? Yeah. It was Relax, a my friend. It was just a joke. Up. I'm a comedian, Elijah. You know how it is. Oh, it's so cringe to watch. Yeah. It's very similar. What? It's very similar. Very similar. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Hmm. That's what I want. Hmm. How very peculiar. <laughs> that is... When was that movie out? 90s, it says. Fucking hell. That's too so, accurate. So why? Why what? But he didn't say the same thing. He literally modernised it. Mm. Will Smith just so smacked the shit out of me. why would that happen? Elijah just slapped the hell why out of me. Why would that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Why? Why? Why indeed? But that's, how, what, how, but that's why I have how to much, question How it. much? I don't there, know. Because there, there are things that are very oddly coincidental. That's true. For example, have you ever watched the um, Simpsons predicted everything? Yeah. Because that is fucking nuts. Like there's scenes where Trump is coming down the escalator and then there's in the same thing, Trump's going down another escalator and someone throws like a white tissue and it falls at exactly the same point as him going down the escalator as it did in The Simpsons. And then someone falls over. Like, it is like uncanny. Mm. Yeah, like, I'm sure. But do we really did sit you see, and think Did you see the pose, the slap pose? The... You, that's a dramatic slap. Yeah. That's not a normal way to slap yeah, somebody, yeah. you know? Yeah. That is very like... Poised, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I wouldn't slap somebody like that. Because you're not thinking about what's coming back. But you can't again, stand. You can't slap someone and stand like this. To, I go back to why. Keep my the name out your mouth. And then the response is, it he was just, just the shit out of me. It was just yeah. He just slapped the shit out of me. Mm. It was a joke. It's like, oh, it's too. I don't know why. This is where. That's saying. why it's conspiracy. Why? Because I would. Why might be how much. Sh- how much attention went to Will and Chris Rock after mm-hmm. that? Yeah, one. The, for but two the same, days after that, you could not same, escape but for, that. But then you can also say, why would Will Smith want that kind of attention? Because mm-hmm. he seems to be going through a lot of shit anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why but would maybe he want that's to do fitting. that? Maybe they needed maybe. him to do that. Maybe he owed. Maybe it was a, favor. a big distraction from something. That's else. That's what I'm saying. That he might have owed someone big a and, favor. And then that also ties into. Everyone be like, well, why was he able to sit back down? Mm-hmm. Nobody come and said like, no security. If you mm-hmm. slap someone in an event. Mm-hmm. And then go up and accept awards. Mm-hmm. Like, it didn't make sense. Mm. And it was also weird when he was like, we're completely going over such like old ground here. Mm. But just to like, to, to even emphasize, like he was laughing along and then it just And that's what switched. happens in the video. Did you see it? Yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. laughing, looks at his wife and then he stops laughing. Yeah. Everything's the same. Yeah. I mean, it is very, very strange. But like I said, so is a lot of the Simpsons things. And I don't believe mm. that the Simpsons writers are predicting 
the world. But there's a lot of like, but coincidences are odd. And often, I'm not saying, I think there is definitely a world in which things are staged. Like I said, damage limitations, things are staged and things are leaked and things are done so that our eyes are diverted. I think there's, you know, direct evidence of that that's happened. So I'm not saying it's impossible, but there's certain things that I'm like, why? And for what purpose? And like, do you know what you have to think of when you think about cover-ups, yeah? So there's like a really famous case that's going on at the moment that's annoying me because I can't remember the name, but I'll find out. Um, which is about this woman who has been told, that as, who is set, and they're accusing her of killing her husband. Mm. And then there's all these people that are saying it's a conspiracy theory with, amongst the police department and these rich people that he was friends with, right? And although there is evidence that could support both claims, what you really have to think about is how many people need to be involved in this cover up and within the time frames to have been able to communicate and get this story going without there being any loopholes mm. and falsities and discrepancies among it to make this actually stand up in court. Mm. So when you start to think about something like that with the- I don't know if it many people, I, know, I agree with you that. I, I think that one's easily pulled off. Mm. I think the only people that need to know what's going on there are the people in the scene. Mm. So, I, I presume so, but I just think- But yeah, there, there are things where you're like, well, for this to be true, like yeah. literally the entire, like for example, landing on the moon. Mm. Great example. Mm -mm -mm. To think how much it would cost to keep that secret mm -hmm. going. And hundreds of people at like NASA yeah. would have to be involved in that. That's what I mean. Yeah. There's a lot of people that you've got to keep, mm. you've got to convince them to keep the lie going. Yeah. And how do you keep people lying? Money. When mm. the money stops, the lie stops. But people firmly believe that, that people, we've never got to the moon. Yeah, that's questionable. But like, that's that's the only <laughs> thing. No, but that's the only thing that makes me think. Conspiracies. It must, no, but that's <laughs> what you just said is one thing that makes me think. I think too much, it would cost too much to well then you, then then again though <laughs> see this is what it does no but then again i was about to say it would cost too much to keep that lie going yeah right but at the same time what i think about the landing on the moon is if it never happened mm. like how much money does it cost to send a rocket into space and come back mm -hmm. yeah that's a lot of money billions mm -hmm. yeah i'm a guessing yeah but i think it's billions mm -hmm. i think it's not a cheap thing to do yeah so if it was a lie mm -hmm. and they've got billions because they would have to have that money. The yeah. money would have to be seen. Otherwise, that would be the first thing everyone's like, well, where's the money? How did you fund this? There mm -hmm. has to, the money had to come from somewhere. So if it was a lie, then they technically have got billions to keep that lie going because they wouldn't have spent yeah. that money on actually going but to the moon. What, it's not just dependent on money, is it? It's dependent on humans. It's dependent on like... Just to say to China, we did it. And... China, we're on the moon. <laughs> we're on the moon, bitch. <laughs> but it's dependent on... You know, like we said, people's mental health is dependent on people's capacity. For... No, nah, because anyone who starts talking against the grain, we call them crazy and it's a conspiracy. Well, people like you mm. who don't even give them a... Mm. I'm not one of those people that just mm. accept things. You've gone back I to Spanish. I'm specifically... Put your Spanish do back on. I was hot. I um, would say I was sp I'm specifically critical, but I am, I am just, yeah. I don't think I shut down conspiracies, but some you things... Shut down. No, I don't. Right. We got some dilemmas. I'm just gonna do one. Okay. Because I started reading it and I thought you actually might have a lot to say on this one. Oh God, here And we they go. started off nice. Hi Bailey and Kyra, big up Leo too. Thank you very much. Chatterbox is my favorite podcast. Last week, my boyfriend brought home a dog and I wasn't sure how to react. At first I was confused, but thought it might be cool to have one. However, just a week in, I'm finding it really hard to handle. Mm -hmm. I'm not a pet person. I never have. I've never even had a goldfish. So this is all new to me. The house smells different. There's dog hair everywhere. And I've just learned how big this dog will get as it grows. My boyfriend loves the dog. Though, and we had a huge argument when I suggested getting rid of it. What should I do? I don't even know if I want to speak on this. This is why I thought it was a good one for you because... Because <laughs> you want to get me cancelled. Why? You're going to get me cancelled straight up. Cancelled? Yeah. What are you going to say? What do you think I'm going to say? Well, the only thing that you can get you cancelled would be bestiology or whatever it's called. Bestiality. Bestiality. Definitely not that. Um, you want my honest opinion? I it? definitely want your honest opinion. What? Right, so I, right, I bring home a dog. 
sorry, no, we're going back to them as a dilemma because we're not talking about it even being you. No, no, them. no. That's, this. What do you do? I bring home a dog. This guy, yeah, bought home a dog without even talking about it mm. and then has the audacity to have an argument when I say, mm, potentially don't want this. Do you know it's how mad later, that though. is? No, 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 no. Do you know how mad that is that you would bring home a dog and not talk about it? That is next level. I That's breakup ability levels. But people do that as a gift. No. I've seen people give no. people a dog for Christmas. No, not me. Never, ever do that to me. <laughs> that <laughs> I would, I could not handle that. I'm sorry, yeah. You going like you hate dogs so much. I don't but like I've them. seen you, I've caught you with Buster mm. doing ultimate belly rubs. More than I would give him. No, but I so occasionally, I've maybe twice, have given him a dog massage because on TikTok I've seen dog people massage. do dog, what's it called? Osteo and massage. And there's like a small part of me that finds that kind of interesting. But dogs on the whole, yeah. not my thing. Animals on the whole. Not so if I bought home a dog, I'd be I'd be saying, where did you get it from? Take it back. Uh, I put, I bought it. You bought it. Well, you I better sell this, it. I bought this. What's dog? the profit? It's That's what, what I'm, I'm saying. I bought you. it. Yeah. It's a female. Mm -hmm. Um. It's an XL bully. No. It's a female. No. Uh, oh no! It's a smaller dog. It's a pug. It's a miniature pug. Tiny little dog. Honestly. Female and it's a female and in a year. I can breed it mm -hmm. and each puppy will sell for fifteen hundred pounds and we we'll mm -hmm. probably get about eight in a litter. That's why I bought it at home. So I've I bought at home a dog. I said, babe, I've got this dog and mm -hmm. so But how long do we have to have the dog for? It's it's gonna be with us for life now. No. But the profit's gonna start coming no. next year. No. No way. Like if we th the thing is though, is that I'm not sure what is like humane to to treat an animal, yeah. But if you were like said to me, we had an outhouse and the dog lived outside, yeah. and you don't have to feed it, you don't have to walk it. Why feed? You don't want to feed it? No, as in, like, you do the feeding. Yeah. I don't have to have anything to do with it. Yeah. Yeah? I'm not saying, yeah, that I'm not going to be like, you see, like, if I see Buster, I'll say, hello, Buster. Yeah. But I'm not doing up kissing with the dog. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't, and it sounds bad, and just, people think I'm crazy when I say this. Yes, you do. Never in your life have you seen mine and Buster's face. I've seen you get too close. Cl too like, close not to me. The most I might do is put my head on top of his yeah, head. Yeah, too close. That's to the me. most love he ever gets. Okay. Well, sometimes I'm like, put yeah, my head on top like of his head. Yeah, but you like do that, and then you but roll never, around Buster with doesn't him lick. And stuff. He don't lick. Ooh, he's I think that's his though. blessing. He dribbles and he farts. If don't, if Buster licked, he goes like that. He would not wah, lick my hand. Wah, he won't lick wah, nothing. He don't like lick that. stuff. Okay. Well, regardless, he's on that no diddy stuff. Some <laughs> lots of, um, lots of dogs do. Yeah. Yeah. And they're and, and the they thing is ass. and a lot of people think that if you don't like animals there's something wrong with you. And a lot of people think that if you do like animals you seem to be a nice person or whatever. But me personally, I've not been what brought, if I bought home a cat. I've not been brought up with animals. I don't want them in my house. What if I bought That's home a cat? Am. A cat. A cat I would but then the litter tray. Oof. I mean, a cat I would be more able to I do. I wouldn't have a litter tray if I had a cat. Where are they still going to... Outside. Who? Outside. How do you know that? How do they know how to do that? <laughs> After the first few times it poos in the house and I dash it out the window. No, I, I just... It's not for me. And the thing is, is that like... So what should he do? What should she do? What should she do? She's so a weak in. Say it's the dog or me. But it's if, the dog or what me. What if she's not willing to take make that sacrifice? She's not willing to make that sacrifice, then she has to live with it. And she does. She said, I don't like pets. The dogs, the house smells already. You, if you love your guy that much, then live with it. But I would be saying to you, Reese, I love you so much, but I didn't want a dog. And you chose to bring this dog in without any consultation with the actual human in the house. Mm. I'm a human. <laughs> you're yeah. so like, you've, you've, you're addressing this like, an, like we're in an office. <laughs> yeah. No, but that is what it has to be. We are two people cohabiting yeah. in a space. Yeah. You got to ask me. And if you just didn't to let you know, I would me. never bring a dog home. Just, I, I don't well, want a dog Just evil. so that you know. But my reasons aren't the same as yours. My reasons because I, I, it's to me having a dog is like having a baby. Yeah, and, and also you gotta you spend money on it. Yeah, they're expensive. Mm. People spend so much on vet bills. Like that's always makes me think. You know, when you see a homeless person and he has yeah. a dog, mm -hmm. how does that work? But he just has the dog in it, and also that's because they're. You know, they, they do make good companions and I get why older people get them. And the only thing that I think I would like about a dog is maybe it would make me get up in the morning and go for walks, which, you know, is generally better for your mental health. But then I'm, it's not authentic reasons as to why I want I do want a fish tank, though. Yeah. But I don't mean like a 
from the from goldfish. The, yeah, I don't mean a goldfish from the fair. From the fair. I want like a a marina. A marina. I want some rare tropical. Fishes. Tropical. Okay. That's I, I don't I I and I, I say I won't I won't do it because that actually takes bare maintenance as well. I don't want no. it. I think I want a bonsai tree. <laughs> it's not an animal. I know. I want a bonsai tree. Okay. Well, you could get that, but yeah. that's again you could bring that to discussion. And I will say that's okay. But dog. Did you say that's okay? It, that's okay. Oh, about to say don't say that's okay. No, I said, and I will say that's okay. Um and. But a dog is not on. So my advice to this young lady is to have that conversation. And say, look, I didn't agree to this. I understand that you really like the dog, but maybe someone else can look after it and you can go visit it. Mm. Or maybe you volunteer dog walking. Who? The, the 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 boy, the boyfriend. If you like dogs that much, go and do some. Go and earn some money and do dog walking on the side. But, you're t- you think that his desire is to walk do- other people's dogs. Yeah, but if you like dogs, then do yeah, but that. Yeah, do- part but of it's the companionship. This is a dog you don't have no companionship zone. with other people's dogs. I'm your companion. I am your companion. We're not talking about us. We're talking about her. <laughs> I'm just saying. I am your companion. <laughs> and no. And I know people are going to think I'm crazy because the people love their dogs. And I get it. People love people buy their dogs christmas presents and treats Mm. and they do you know extreme things for their dogs and i'm not saying that you can't love your dog but dogs are not for me so if that was me and i feel like i'd feel very similar to this person i feel like you would resist but i feel like i could bring a dog home no let's not even talk about that because i'm I'm very scared i'm not gonna no 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 no, i feel like i could bring a dog i feel like you would resist and I feel like Listen, next thing you know, you'll be giving him dog massages. I've, we've already spoken about this in the past. If we have a child that yeah. is going, I want a pet, I want a pet, I want a pet. We're a united front on this. No, you said I can get around mum. We are a united front on this because I've already told you I don't want a dog. Just to let you know, yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't have to get around you. I would override your decision. No, 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 no. But this is the point. We're having this our discussion child, now. I will wiggle around your mum. We I say, don't worry, We're having son. this discussion I'll now. I'll let her know Wagwan. We are not having a go, dog. Go on the internet you and You might tell me think which you can you override want. me. But like they say, there's a famous quote in a film where it says, your dad might be the head of the house, mm. but I am the neck. So I might... What the fuck does that mean? Let me explain to you, yeah? You might think you're making decisions, but the neck chooses... Where the head looks. And to get it. That means yeah? nothing. So I that's a very the limited root. that's a very limited role no, in the decision uh, well, making. Well, it is important still. Okay. <laughs> Who made that turn up? <laughs> I'm convinced that you did. That is it's not, shit. it's from a film. And and I Say it one more time. You your may dad, be the your head. Your dad may be the head of the household, but, I'm but the I am neck. the neck. And I choose which way the head yeah. turns. So that he might think he's making the like final decisions, but if I've made you look over there and made you understand my pers- this perspective of this. So uh, you show me, you give me options to look over there and then I decide with my head. Yeah. No. Look, I'm not saying that is completely Forget full, that full safe. That saying will not win you an argument. It yeah. will. Because let me explain to you, we're not having a dog. So it's, not, wanna, a case, no, it's oh, not a case of overriding. Lucky for you, yeah. I don't want one. I know, but what I'm saying but is you're God saying... For, God help you if I did. We're a very united front on this. God but, help no, you if I did. No, because if you've got a little girl, maybe if you're your son... I'll the biggest dog. If you've got a little girl, you're... And then it's like, I, even just I get want a dog. a dog, I want a dog. You're going to be giving in, and we're not giving in on this. We are together on these things. I don't think you As realize, parents, this is important. I don't think you realise what kind of parent I'm going to be. As parents, it's important that we are united. We're just giving in and wiggling around people you say it as if you're going to be you are going to be a soft touch i can tell you that i'm not i'm, not, I'm t- i think maybe in some senses you're going to be petty mcpetterson we know this but in other senses you are going to be if it's a little girl that's looking at i've seen you even with Kason. with Kason, you'll say this you you take after everyone else he goes i want this and you go do you know no, why case and sit down no do you know and why you go, i want this the and issue, you go no case the, issue, and you go, the okay. issue with that is is Kason's already he's already gone through his like process of what's good and not mm. and i can't it's, it's not for me i can't change it on mm. a day you know what i mean we're talking about my child mm. do you know what i'm saying yeah my and they're child. gonna have eyes like mine they're gonna be like big eyes like yours please and you're gonna give in Next thing you, you know, wanna, you've got a Doberman. Before we finish, like, because you're talking <laughs> about kids, would you want your first kid to be a boy or a girl? A boy. Why? 
uh, just because I want to be a boy mum first. Fair. Me too. Mm. If the future of us, I child, want them to be happy. If our future and child is a female and she sees this, I'm sorry. Sorry. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> still but, love uh, you. We just didn't want you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, I have got two more dilemmas, but I'm going to save them for the next show because yeah. we've been going on for a while. Has it been a while? Yes. Yeah, hour and Can't 15. See. That's enough. Um, That's enough. We don't need to go over comments because we didn't. The video only went out today, mm -hmm. and we'll just be reading the horrible comments from the last video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all right. No, do you know what? I think it wasn't as bad as what I thought. Did you watch it? Uh, I watched parts of it, and I read some of the comments. Some people were very fair with their comments. Someone left us a really long comment, well, go which was some advice. Of the no, no, no. Like you said, not the really great the comments. Because um, I know some of the comments are saying you're wrong and Reese is right, mate. I'm calling myself. I'm, I'm right in it. Mm. Yeah, but some of them were also saying you should listen to her more. Do you know what I felt like? I I, I feel like a lot of our arguments at home, mm -hmm. if they were recorded, mm -hmm. you'd have a lot of people telling you. But can I also just say, listen to him. There is also people in there that are saying, yes, okay, she's passionate about it, but you need to let her land because you don't. I always let you land. No, okay, no, read no, the comments no, no, no. then. I always let. Read the that's the difference. Then. I will let leave you to land. Read the comments then. I even have a button here in case, and I've never even used it. Read and let the you land, then. and then I come of my own opinion. Read Whereas I will say my opinion, and you won't let me get my opinion out. You'll be like, "Ah, oh, what are you talking about? Shut down, shut down, shut down." Are you for real? Yeah. That's not what people that's say not in the comments. You land. What are you not saying in the comments? I'm going to read it after. I'm not going to read it on exactly. Here. So what I'm long. saying is, we both had both had areas that I feel like you I've already apologised and I've already reflected. Mm. But you don't need to hammer that in. And if we're going to talk about comments, some people were saying that about me, but also other people were saying you are annoying her. Yeah, I know I'm annoying letting, you, and you are not letting her. Land. No, I definitely let you down, but I know I annoy you. I definitely annoy you. That's okay. that's that is a given. That is a given. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is a given. Can I say, we've, we've kind of kept to our unstructured podcast, so we need the feedback on whether you guys like it as unstructured as we are. Well, or do you want more structure? No, I do we don't to, need more structure. And I do want to create like the, a WhatsApp number so that people can send us voice notes in because I want to hear what people are like. You just need to fucking get onto Spotify. Yeah, there's some people, there's some people though that like, are in the comments and I want to hear their voices. Do you know what Why? I mean? Why? Because I just think it would be interesting. Can and I ask like you a question? Do you, when, when you read a comment, mm -hmm. do you then click through and try to figure out who that person is. Mm, I have done, but I did it by accident. I didn't even know you could do that. I'd never do. I, I only did it. I clicked on it. and I'm so bad that sometimes I'm reading comments mm -hmm. as if they're people I don't know. Mm. And then I find out later on when I see them that it was someone I knew. Like, mm. Oh, it's you in the comments. I didn't even know. Cool. Didn't even know you watched. No, mm. I don't. I don't. I'm not like deep in it like that. But like I do. I would. I would. I feel like having a WhatsApp is just going to give us something different. So we have like people. You have my a, permission. Yeah, who can get me a a, um, a fraud eSIM? <laughs> oh, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know because I actually don't and know a how burner you set account. Up. Yeah, I need a, like, a burner. I'll ask one of my account. friends. Yeah, one but of yeah, my dodgy friends. <laughs> one of my dodgy friends. But um, yeah, happy with that. End of the episode. Cool. Got anything you want to get off your chest? Um, any recommendations for this week? For what? Any recommendations for um, podcasts? Podcast I mean, for series. series. Series, saving it for mm -hmm. another episode. But I've got a whole list of English words mm -hmm. that have been fudged, fudged and fucked about, and, okay. and don't. But you've got a what of English words? A. Oh my god. A. Mandarin. No, <laughs> stop. This is why you need to stop wait, wait, other wait, words Sushin. next to it. It was definitely something like that. Yeah, but you need to stop putting Marinda, other words. Mar next. Miranda, Mirand, a Mirand. A Mirandi. No. A Marinda. No. I've got a mir Mirage. Marid. Fucking hell. Say myriad. It. Myriad. Yes. I've got a myriad of words yeah. that aren't consistent with their plural. Okay. And what would be the other opposite of plural? Singular. Singular. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's great. However, do you have any quickly recommendations? Anything you've watched? Chaos. Chaos. We've been enjoying on Netflix. The Greek gods. The Greek gods. Maybe very Greek interested mythology. in the in the, the original it's stories. Actually filmed quite well. Yeah. Looks if you're nice. into books, I read a really quick, cheap thriller that was called That Woman, um, which was quite good. Uh, like really easy read, psychological thriller. Um, do you think any other recommendations? Anything I've watched? I watched the Back to Black movie. 
I know it's been out a while, but it's on Netflix now, Amy Winehouse movie. I cried. I cried, I cried on the plane, yeah. I've watched a film, I've watched something with you in the past, yeah, mm. and I've cried mm. secretly. Mm. Like, I'm sitting, sitting beside you and I'm like, I've got to, I'm like, fuck. And you're mm. stone faced. You have zero emotion <laughs> no. in this moment. No, you Depends are. Depends on what it is. You are. I think there's been at least two times I can think of where we're watching something and I'm crying. Like I'm. I can't think of anything like lumping that. Lumping my throat, like, like feeling this, and I'm like, oh my god. And I look at you, and you've got zero emotion on your face, and I'm like, oh. I cried. And then I try to like. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I need to see what made you cry because you're. I, I cried. Actually, cried twice this week. I cried it back to black. Amy Winehouse and I also watched Lauren Goodgear. Goodyear being. Is she alive still? Yes. Oh no, I'm thinking of Jade Goody. Jade Goody. How did um, you know I was thinking of Jade Goody? Because she's dead. Yeah, but how did you get from? Because Lauren I know Goodyear how your mind thinks. To Jade Goody. Just the same way that I know how you're going from myriads to Marinda. It's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I watched her interview with Paul C. Brunson and I also mm. cried at that. So, okay. Yeah. Anyway, those yeah. are, my, are my quick recommendations for you. Um, people, if you want to send us in your dilemmas, mm -hmm. um, make sure you send it to chatterbox.contact at gmail.com. That's chatterbox.contact at gmail.com. Uh, send us through your dilemmas, questions, stories, or even if you just want to send us a voice note or a message. Yeah. Um, we try to get you featured on the show. Yeah, send a voice now. I want to hear ya. Shakira wants to hear your voice. Not like not over a minute. Like, don't take the piss. Yeah, keep your videos and remember it's got to go on the show. Like we yeah, don't, like... you can't, you can't take up four minutes of the show. Mm, yeah, because yeah. we will you know I mean? chopper 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 chopper. Um, <laughs> yeah, new schedule. All videos from now on will be posted on a Thursday, Thursday. at six p.m. Thursday. Thursday at six p.m. Yeah, we're gonna be posting on Thursdays at six p.m. That's right. All right. That gives me multiple time mm -hmm. to do my edits for Monday, okay? Because <laughs> I don't like working on the weekend, you see? It's, I like it's to. awful. <laughs> Is it? It's, it's, I feel it's like better it's, than mine. I feel like, my, I feel like I started off doing nothing, and now I'm starting to go Irish. Yeah. You know it's, what I mean? Your Irish accent's better than mine, but it is awful. You think I've got an awful Irish accent? It's not great. I feel like if you couldn't see me, <laughs> you would know, you would think I might be Irish. Anyway, <laughs> accents is next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the show. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. The most important one of all those. Like, it's easy to click the like button. You are already on it with the comments. Mm -hmm. um, but guys, like, so many of you are watching and you're not subscribed. Mm. And I know the feeling because I watch a lot of people and I'm also, not subscribed. Also, just for clips, if you only follow Bailey, this is not released on his channel, so subscribe to the Chatbox channel. Do you get what I mean? Because there's some people I might see on Instagram mm. and then they see this and then they're like, oh, like I've had people be like, oh, I went to see, I went to look for your video, but I couldn't find it. Because they they're don't looking actually on my page. Know. Yeah, because uh, they're looking at your page. But this video, this message right now is on our page. Well, so they've they got to be quite retarded <laughs> just to make saying. that mix up. <laughs> but know. yeah, like, know. please, 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 I'm asking to please hit the subscribe button. Let, oh my God. I'm gonna, I know we're going over time now and I actually have to go to work. But let's set a thing of like, we will do, like tell us something that is like kind of wild that we can do. And if we get to like 5,000 subscribers, we'll do it. No, stop being weird. Naked podcast. We do a naked podcast, yeah? <laughs> but like, you'll be like, I'll blur you here and here. No, not blur because people could take that off, but we could do it like, have you ever seen Calendar Girls? <laughs> what do you mean they can take it no, off? No, I mean, people can take it off. You remember when people was what doing that? What do you mean that, people um, can take it off? That you can't phase. take off a blur. Yeah, you can. You can edit it off. No way. Yeah. What about if I just put like something like... But what I was saying is like, you could put like buns here and like a table here and we'll do it naked. Or like, I'm not doing a bungee jump, putting it out there. No, look, I'm not doing five thousand subs. Yeah, something. No, like I think that. that's it. We we a thousand subs was me and Leo's first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we hit five thousand subs, we'll do something. But tell we'll us do what a you naked want us podcast. Do. Naked podcast. Yeah, but obviously they'll we'll blur it. Yeah, that's that's the key thing. <laughs> okay. Or cover it. But what about if they want us to do something else? Like they might want us to do. No, do something. I'd rather do something else. To something. be honest, I, you said it, and I thought that's actually sick. Okay. <laughs> I've not seen no one do that. You said it. You did I say it? You've always got nudity on the mind. Did I bring that up or did you bring that up? Bring it up. 
I'm going to have to get the instant replay out okay. of that. I'm sure you said it. But yeah, please subscribe. So our new goal yeah. is 5,000 subs. And we'll do something wild. We're way, way, way far. We've got a long time to figure out what we're going to do. But yeah. for now, it's a naked podcast. Mm -hmm. 5,000 subs we're trying to get to. So we're on about 1,050 right now. So mm -hmm. your subs mean everything. And like I say, I watch a lot of YouTube and I don't subscribe to them. And only recently I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to yeah. give them the sub. I think you're the only person I subscribe to. That's cute, is it? isn't it? That's cute. Yeah. Oh no, actually, maybe one other. You've listened to quite a lot of things, though. Yeah, but I'm not really up on the sub. In anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to go. we digress. <laughs> Please hit the subscribe button. We would appreciate. It. And then when we set up the Patreon, which has been set up, we just need to start thinking about the content we're doing for mm -hmm. that. Because right now you need to pull your thumb out, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Message Can't received. Be looking pretty on the on the show. What? I need some help in the back end. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I've been your boy Bailey. I've been Kyra. Peace. Bye. Bye. Also, we need theme music if any of you are music producers. We need some theme music. Yeah. And we need some animations. On and something face. for Word of the Week. Word of the Week. Boom, boom, boom. Word of the Week. I feel like, Word I really feel week. like you think you've Word got a thing going week. on. But that's a little Word segment I've given you where Word they all go and get week. a coffee for while you do Word it. Word of the Week. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You little nerd. Conspiracy. <laughs> didn't work it didn't work my memory's so bad I've just had to turn all the cameras and mics back on because this meant a lot I needed to do this I had a DM request for a special birthday shout out for Mr. Sufan and Sufan I'm gonna put you down right now as probably our number one supporter so big up Sufan happy belated birthday wishing you all the best from myself and Kyra and Leo everyone wishing you all of the best um stay supporting we'll keep putting in the effort to keep you guys entertained everyone who subscribed and liked and commented and just supported this podcast from the off really appreciate everyone out there man but yeah big up sufan man happy birthday my bro peace